I'm getting to see some behind the scenes stuff at Mitsubishi and how they make their systems so different. It is nerdy, but now that we live in Atlanta, I've been wanting to visit their headquarters for a while, and here is why. They've been developing all kinds of cool stuff for 150 years, including some that I get really excited about, like the IC sensor, which is basically an eight pixel infrared thermal camera built into their indoor units that sweeps the room and can aim the conditioned air to follow you or keep it away from you. The people who answer the phones in tech support are often HVAC contractors themselves, and they can actually walk over and troubleshoot the fixes to solve problems with you while they're on the phone with these working demo units. They can take stuff apart with you and come up with workarounds. I have never seen that before. Great idea. And by the way, the warranty starts the day that it's installed. So if, even if you buy it three years before you actually install it in a new house, like we did with ours, it still starts the day that you install it. And they're using this brand in other brands like Train, like American Standard. They have a test lab inside of their 460,000 square foot warehouse. That's 11 acres. That's eight football fields. The actual test lab, I was not allowed to put on video, sadly. But imagine a bunch of 30 by 30 foot rooms, 900 square feet each, with 30 foot ceilings. And each one has 15 tons of cooling and heating power. That's 60 square feet per ton for my fellow heat load nerds. The, they use these hot rotted cubes basically to see how their HVAC systems perform from 130 degrees Fahrenheit down to negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit, which is also negative 40 Celsius. They do that because their systems are designed to perform much better than conventional heat pumps. None of the systems I've got installed in my own projects has electric heat strips built in because of hyperheat, which squeezes heat out of the air all the way down past zero degrees Fahrenheit. These systems are all inverter driven, which means that they can deliver only the amount of conditioning needed and they don't slam on like typical systems. Typical systems are much louder, heavier, and bulkier. They're coming up with new twists on their ductless mini splits, like these small ducted systems that can fit into a ceiling cavity, which solves some of the distribution and maintenance problems of the wall units. But remember that the filters in these are still pretty thin and are not for making the air healthier. They're working on this though, apparently. Big thanks to my friend Matt Hoots at Sawhorse for arranging this tour. If you guys have questions or comments, please post them below. I uh, address those personally. Like and subscribe. Tune in next time.